um, you can thank me later. Guys, today I'm here literally to save you because I know how hard it can be to rearrange your room or even if you're moving into a new place and you have to arrange it from zero, it can be so much effort. Physical, if you literally move all the furniture to find out that it's not how you want it at the beginning. And my calculation was wrong. So much smaller than I thought. There's not even a way to get inside the space anymore. Maybe simply you wanted to do it, but your butt is too heavy. Or sometimes it's the furniture that is too heavy to move up and down till you find the perfect solution. Well, I have the magic trick for you. You're not gonna have to move even one finger. How? Actually, you're gonna have to move only one finger. First step is to download SketchUp. You just go online, insert your email, and come download it with one month free trial. If you cannot finish your room in one month, you have a problem. Once you download it and you verify the email that you put inside, you're ready to go. To start creating your dream room, you obviously have to go and take measurements. Guys, one of you won a free makeover and it's gonna go out next month. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna plan some of the things of his room, literally on SketchUp. So these are the measurements, super professional, that I took about his place. And now we're gonna transfer them on the system. Easiest thing is if you take the camera and go on standard view and point it from the top. At this point, it's gonna be way easier to understand what you're going for. Now, you go and insert the measurements that you already took, and every time you insert it with the measuring system on the side. So let's say that I'm gonna do one meter, it's 100, and then you put centimeters after that. And then plus enter. At this point, you have the exact measurements of the wall that you wanted to create. We're gonna go and add super quickly also all the other walls of the room. And as you can see, when one piece of line touches the other line and it closes, automatically there is a different color on the bottom of our shape. This means that this is the floor. We want to go and create also a wall and you simply go on this offset button. And once you click on the shape that you made, you see that you can drag it outside. I'm gonna put 10 centimeters because that's what normally the wall is press enter, and at this point, automatically, you have your wall. And now, magically, we want our walls to rise. And we simply do that with the push and pull button. Push it, pull it up, and we have our room! Bravo! Bravo! Now we literally find ourselves with the shape of our room, and we're gonna try to make it as similar as possible to the room what we want to design. So we go on the paint bucket, and here on the side, you're gonna find a little brick, if you click on the brick, you can choose different kind of textures. So let's say that you have wood on the floor, you go on wood, choose the wood that is the most similar to the one that you want or want or have in your room, and then go and insert it on the floor. There you go. You can also go and paint your walls. You can do that immediately. You can do it at the end if it's actually an accent wall that you want to add, but I'm going to show you super quickly how to do that. So now let's say that I want to make the wall completely blue. It's just an example. I chose it from here. And now I can simply go with a bucket on the wall that I want to paint and ta-da! It's blue. Because we are pros, we're going to make also the doors and the windows. And here is where I reveal you that you do not have to draw those. It's simple. You go on window, 3D warehouse, click on the button, and here in front of you is going to appear so much furniture of every kind, from couches, chairs, doors, pipes, like from the basic to the most complicated ones. We're gonna go and type what we're looking for. Win. Joe. And immediately in front of us are gonna appear so many windows that all you have to do is download the window that you want, bring it inside your drawing, and place it where you think you need it the most. Here, I download one window. I put it here. I will now scale it with the scale button and you see there's different corners. You have to choose one corner that is on the side. And there you go. We're gonna do exactly the same thing also for the door, 3D warehouse, door, white door. Find a door that is similar to what we want. We're gonna download it and place it 
where we need it. Sometimes it's gonna happen that it doesn't land where you want it to be, so you turn it like this, you place it the closest that you can, and then you can go on top and drag it to the area where you want it. Now I'm gonna give you a very short guide about the buttons. If you need to select something, you go with this button. But if you want to move it, then you have to go to this red four arrows and then you can bring it on the area that you want to move. And as you can see, there's going to be a few squares appearing. Why? Because if you click on the corner squares, you can twirl the object on itself. If instead we need to scale it, we said it before, you have to click on scale and then automatically this other kind of squares appear and you can erase with the eraser. Hooray! We have a 3D of our room! At this point, there's two options in front of you. One, if you're redesigning a place that you already have, or one, if you're moving into a new place and you have nothing. If you are redesigning a space and there are some furniture that you still want to use and you want to readapt, you just want to remove it around, what I suggest is to download everything that is similar to the room that you have, but do not place it inside your 3D. Put it on the side, Put it all outside and then start moving it inside the drawing so that you can place it completely differently as if it was a white sleek without being pushed by what you already have in your mind and how you already know that your room looks and having the option of finding out that there's new spaces where you didn't imagine them. Again, you are not moving furniture. You can actually try to move that heavy library to the corner where you were so sure that it was never going to look good. But it was always in the back of your head. What if? What if? Option two is a new space and you have no furniture at all. At this point, I like to start just moving the furniture of what I think I would like without even battering so much about what are the colors, but just to understand what fits in the room. So that after I can choose, oh, okay, so it does fit both a couch and an armchair and a side table, or actually, no, there is no space so that when you go shopping, you know what to buy. Snack break. What happens once you found more or less a placement that you want, but you still want to change the mood, change the color, change the size of the couch that you want to pick? Let's do that together. So we click the select button, we go on the object and click it many times till it selects only that specific spot. Once it's selected that one, you go back to your bucket, you can choose the color that you prefer. Let's say that we want it pink and you can paint it. There we go. What if we want to couch smaller? That's also very easy. We saw it at the beginning. We go on the scale button. We select only the object that we want to change. Scale. And then we drag it from the corner because we are changing the proportions from the side and we squash it. Once we did find an arrangement of the room that we really like, obviously we're going to go and save it. And we do that simply clicking on file, save as, give it a name, and you save it. At this point, you can totally cancel the furniture that you did and add new one, change the furniture completely, or just rearrange the same furniture in different way, ways, so that after you can just compare them and choose which is the option that you like the most before purchasing it or actually just moving it around your place. That's all I have for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this completely different tutorial. We usually build furniture and redesign spaces, but I thought it was fundamental to show you that you can do it at home. I'm also a very indecisive person and seeing how it is gonna look before doing it, it's a life saver. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next week with actually the real furnishing of the place that we saw today on 3D.